Hey, here's the real star of the show. Excited to be here as usual. It's Sarge, and he and I would both like to welcome you to another edition of Conversational Shaving. Isn't that right, Sarge? Well, hello there. I've already prepped my face with Village Barber shaving oil. My razor today is going to be this twist to open one piece. It's the Gillette uh, Slim Adjustable. Um, and I'm going to keep it on the number five setting, I believe, all the way through. I don't know if you can see that, but there it is. I can kind of see it on the monitor there. And my soap is going to be this, uh, Derby Premium Shaving Soap. And uh, I've read, and I've used this once before, right after I got it a week or two ago, but um, I haven't used it on camera yet. I've read that this is a little bit stronger in its scent than the regular Derby. I do have some of that in the green tub. When I used it before, I couldn't tell a lot of difference, but it was still a decent soap. I'm going to use it today. And I've already lathered my brush, the KC Shave Company Silver Tip Badger Brush. And let me see, let me run a little bit of hot water here. Uh, yeah, I got Sarge the Cat in here. He's not too sure if he wants to be in here while I shave, but he's down there on the floor. Hi, Sarge, good boy. The reason I'm running a little water is I want to just wet this uh, just a little bit and start trying to put a lather on my face. Got almost three days worth of growth here, closer perhaps to 2.5 days, I don't know. No, it's pretty close to three days, within a couple of hours anyway. Here I go. Hope you're all doing well out there this week. Oh, there goes the cat. Are you gonna are you gonna leave me? Yeah. Huh. I thought I had the door all the way shut, but I guess it didn't click. So the cat said enough of this. I don't know, maybe the cat doesn't like derby products. Or Darby as they say on the other side of the pond. Mm-hmm. Just getting lathered up. Let's see, I think we had President's Day here already, didn't we, on Monday? I think uh, all of the major countries had some kind of holiday this month, some kind of bank holiday, post office holiday. Let me wet the razor here. Okay, now here we go, pass number one with the grain. Oh, I forgot to mention, silly me, in there on its first use is a Derby Premium Blade to kind of go along with the soap, I guess. There is, or at least there used to be a vendor, one or two of them on Facebook, that if you ordered a few blades for them, they sent them to you in these little, uh, these little envelopes, uh, what do you call these things? I can't think of the name right now, but, and then in there they would cut just the top or one side off the top and put that in there and then your blades are behind that. So I had ordered different blades from that vendor and then I began ordering some from tryablade.com who I also highly recommend. I hope I didn't say vendor on YouTube. I meant to say vendor on eBay. If I said YouTube, I'm sorry. They could be on YouTube for all I know, but there's an eBay vendor that has 
the blades that come that way. <coughs> With just one card or paperboard side of the tuck. In each little baggy type thing. Okay, I'm gonna rinse the razor. <clears throat> so far, this is a comfortable shave, and I think maybe it is possible that this this stuff in the black, the Derby shaving soap in the black tub. Uh, that seems to be marketed more towards barbers and people that own salons. Um, it might be just a slight bit more uh, strong in its scent than, than the soap that comes in the green derby uh, container. Whatever I'm doing, I'm doing it right so far because this is a very comfortable shave. And it seems reasonably close so far. First use on the Dermy Derby, I'm sorry, premium blade. Let's see. Go to the neck now. I hope this shave remains as comfortable on the other passes as it is so far on this first pass. Got the TV on in the other room. I don't know if you can hear any of that. I'm watching true crime shows presented by YouTubers. Another genre of YouTube. Okay. I think I'm applying just the right pressure for this shave, uh, not being too heavy handed. Soap is drying a little bit right there. You might even see little flakes of it flying around here and there. So far so good, I'll come right back for pass number two across the grain. Well, I've kidnapped the cat again. It's time for the second pass across the grain, right, kitty? Cat couldn't be more excited. Just stay there, Sarge. Sometimes he likes watching me shave. But he's kind of indifferent right now. Well, anyway, let's see. Here I go, across the grain. Still on the number five setting on the Gillette uh, Slim Adjustable. Early 70s vintage on this razor. I forget exactly what year. 72 or 73 perhaps. When the head of the razor was still entirely made of metal at some point this part, but not the doors, became plastic, I believe. Anyway, over to the other side here. And I'll just go ahead and use my left hand here. For a so-so soap, one that's not very expensive, and even in its premium version, I don't know if you would... Yeah, that's right, Kitty. I don't, I don't know if you'd call this a great performing soap, but on this shave, anyway, it's performing pretty well. 
I didn't pay a lot of attention the first time. I must have been in a hurry or something. Excuse me. Still perhaps not the slickest soap in the world or anything like that, but maybe it's the blade and razor combination. It's so far a very comfortable shave. Kitty, what are you doing? Kitty's trying to get out. It's okay, Sarge. I'll let you out eventually. <laughs> I know, I'm being cruel to animals here on my show. No, I'm not trying to be cruel. Because sometimes, Sarge will go out, then he wants to come right back in. All right, Kitty, hold on. You're breaking my heart down there. I will at least crack the door, then you can decide there. If you want to go out, go out. Well, I think he's going to leave. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm just checking to make sure the camera is rolling, so to speak. Uh, cat. I went ahead and shut the door. I don't think anybody wants to hear my true crime show playing in the background out there. Some younger YouTube gentleman who has some particularly disturbing true crime, uh, real true crimes that he uh, talks about. Okay, over to this side. <laughs> I hear the, can you hear the, the cats and yelling? And my soap's drying. Once it's been on the face just a while, it starts drying and getting flaky. Yes, I'm a little flaky too. I'll be right back and then me and you and maybe the cat will go against the grain. Against the grain, everybody. Say hi, sir. Say hi. Say hi. Mm. <laughs> Okay, sir. Thank you for your. Uh, thanks for being a good sport there, against the grain. Let's see. I need to fluff this up a little bit, if that's even possible. I haven't gone back to the tub to get more lather on the brush. Mm -hmm. Let's get going here. I'm getting a little lightheaded. Come to think of it. Whoa. Cat's still down here. I'm just going to shut the door so that... Oh, there goes the cat. Cat has had enough of this, let me tell you. I suppose there are people who'd say I'm being a little cruel to that cat, but nah, that cat is really pretty spoiled if you want to know the truth. But I didn't make him heavy like he is. He's kind of heavy set. And I was told by his original owner, or actually I think it was by another neighbor, who told me that that cat got heavy after he was uh, spayed. Excuse me. Because neither I nor his original owner um, feed or have fed him uh, undue amounts of kitty food. He gets a normal amount of kitty food. So, yeah. Still a nice, comfortable shave, even though the soap has a tendency to kind of dry out quickly. 
and uh, maybe this is some some derby that smells just a slight bit more like Arco. They smell, to me anyway, they have a similar smell. Some people might disagree, but this might be just a little bit more strong in its scent than the, the regular derby. So maybe just a little bit. There's not a whole lot of difference, but I could be wrong. I may do a video someday where I compare the two. There may be no difference at all. Uh, it could be just that uh, different color packaging for the same product. All I know is that the Derby Premium Blade is working very well for me in this razor. And you know, I call it the Gillette Slim Adjustable, but technically I'm wrong. It, it's called the Black Beauty, not officially. I think that might be, might be just a, a nickname it has acquired. I think it might be called the Gillette Super Slim Adjustable or Slim Super Adjustable. All I know is that I wish it were still made. Because it is definitely one of my favorite uh, Gillette uh, original vintage razors. I'll be right back and it'll be pickup time. Well, I just had to get Sarge again because uh, Here's the crazy magical clock, and it's pickup time, everybody. What do you think about that, Sarge? <laughs> the looks on his face are priceless, but I just love him to death. This cat, it, he's such a cool cat. He's kind of a big cat, but he's a cool cat. And, uh, yeah. Sarge, you've been more than a good sport. Do you want to leave again, or do you want to stay? You can stay if you want. It won't be much longer. Okay, yeah, pickup time anyway. I did go back to the tub for a little bit more soap, but I've got to get shaving here quickly because this soap seems to dry out quickly on my face. Yeah. Hey, Sarge. Sarge, you just don't know what you want, do you? Mostly you want out. Sometimes you want back in, but I think today you mostly want out. I think Sarge doesn't like being confined, but I keep closing that door so that the, uh, I guess I could have just turned my TV off, but, uh, Sometimes I leave it on so all the neighbors don't have to hear me in here talking to myself in the bathroom. Um, that's about all I'm going to do right now. And uh, yeah, that that is at least the higher upper echelon, upper end of a DFS shave, very close to BBS. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and rinse the razor. Did that. Usually I do that off camera for the last uh, rinse of, of the razor, but... Now I'm going to rinse the brush in my face, and I'll be right back with our good friend, Mr. Tao. Say hello to our good friend, Mr. Tao. Wow. Feeling nice. Just like I said, I still need to get a haircut. Not that I have a lot of hair, but... Could definitely use a trim on the sides and the back. Oh. Okay, I'm going to put Mr. Tal back where he goes, and then I'm going to start a brief recap and put the finishing touches on the shave here. And Mr. Tal over here. Very nice. Now, I prepped my face before the shave off camera with Village Barber shaving oil. And 
my razor has been this twist to open adjustable uh, one piece it's the Gillette Black Beauty that's what I know it as I think it might also be the super slim adjustable or something like that I'll try to put something down here to show what it is or I'll put it in the description and um, my soap has been this it is the Derby Premium shaving soap in the black container and that's why I also used a Derby Premium blade in the razor on its first use okay and my brush has been this KC Shave Company Silver Tip Badger brush kind of a shame that they're no longer in business and okay okay now I'm going to apply some of the TN Dickinson's Witch Hazel which is an astringent because it's 14% alcohol by volume. So get some of that going in the hands here. Just the slightest little bit of sting. I didn't shave too, too close or too aggressively or whatever, but I still got a fairly close shave and there's some of that that feels nice. The uh, TM Dickinson's Witch Hazel seems to be available all over the Western world. And anyway, uh, something I haven't used in quite some time, it's a cheapy, a knockoff. It's, um, well, let's see, it's from Family Dollar, I believe it is. Uh, yeah, let's say that. It's the... Uh, Classic splash aftershave. It's a knockoff of Brute, basically, but it smells great. And get some of that going in my hand there. And put a little on the wrists, a little up behind the ears, and the temples, back of the neck. More sting with that, especially on the neck. But hey, it smells it smells nice. No, it's not quite as good as Brute, but it's for like a dollar. I think this was like a dollar. What are you, you know, what are you going to do? That's pretty good. Pretty darn good for a dollar. And it does smell good. I like it. Okay. Now uh, to finish up the Nivea Men Original Replenishing Post Shave Balm. Kind of hard to find the original Nivea anymore. I've always had to go online, I think, to find it, because I've never found it in stores. Anyway, here I go. I don't know if it's all new old stock or what. There's a light scent to this. Goes well with just about everything. always feels nice, <clears throat> excuse me, feels nice on the face, the neck, the skin. <clears throat> as, has, as has been said more than once and probably by more than one person, uh, this stuff's so great you, you could like, you know, use it as a body, uh, balm or, or whatever. It's nice stuff. And I have one more bottle left. I gave away a bottle and I hope when this one, well I hope when they're all done, the two that I have left, I hope I can find more online. The Nivea Men Original Replenishing Post Shave Balm. Well that's it folks. Uh, thank you for joining me. If you've uh, held out this long, uh, watched this far through the video, thank you again. That's uh, double props to you. And speaking of double props, peace to all of you, and hopefully we'll see you back here next week.